So this honestly solves a problem I did not even really know I had. Well, I knew I had the problem because I have literally ruined frames on my negatives, cutting them up. I didn't know there was a really elegant solution to this problem. I'm not gonna lie, that's really satisfying. So at the end of this video, I'm pretty sure I'll get some comments and people saying, well, why don't you just use a scissors? And I've done that, clearly, I've done that for decades. And honestly, I've always had a little bit of anxiety every time it goes to cutting up, especially my 35 millimeter films, because I have clipped frames, I've cut them crooked, I've cut them too close, and it just, it's always my favorite picture on the roll and that sucks. So this guy right here, the film killer, is what I am talking about. And it does just a really bang up job of what it's supposed to do. It precisely will line up your frames and trim them perfectly square every time. Very quick, very clean. So Chris from Old School Optic reached out to me and he did send me this unit. This isn't paid or sponsored in any way, but they did send me this unit um, to test out when he first reached out, I was I was intrigued and I looked into it and I was like, that's a really interesting idea. I'm not sure how necessary it is, but it's it's really interesting. And after using it, I'm I really like it. That's all I can say. I would buy this in a heartbeat just for the peace of mind it gives me when cutting my film. So the film killer, it does two things really, really well. First of all, it's very fast and efficient at cutting your film precisely. Uh, really square every time. I have no um, concerns about me cutting into the into the frames or cutting it crooked, so it eliminates that. Then secondly, you can illuminate this from the bottom so you can see exactly where you're cutting. That was always an issue for me, no matter where I could place my scissors and film over a light table, up to the light, and it was still sometimes just a guess and a prayer. Now maybe that's just my technique, but I've been doing it a long time time and never found a comfortable way of cutting my film. So this little device just completely solves that problem for me. Takes the anxiety out. Love it. I would say 90% of the film I do is just black and white that I develop in my darkroom, but I do also send color film out on occasion and it's always been an issue if they cut it because they, they send it back in these dumb sleeves and they're terrible for archiving. So if I do send film out now, I will have them send it back um, not cut up. So if you do do this, this is going to save you a ton of time and peace of mind and you'll be able to quickly go through, cut it up, and then I like to use a uh, print file archive sleeves. They're just way easier to um, archive and store in, in my opinion. But this is going to save you a ton of time and that peace of mind that you're going to um, trim them just perfectly. And I've also started actually trying to incorporate this right directly into my scanning workflow where I put the film killer behind my um, film scanning unit and use the film killer drive, um, little drive wheel, to pull it through the whole thing. And what's really cool is once you get it lined up with the markings on the film killer, I can actually just use those as a guide to how far I have to transfer it and I don't really even have to look at the screen. Like I'll check the screen, but I can just go to those markings and hit click. Go to those markings and hit click and it, it advances it a perfect 35 millimeter. So that's been really intriguing. Now I do have some tweaks to make and, and things to work out, but so far it's worked really good. Like one of them is you have to put a little more pressure on the drive wheel to pull it through that whole thing, but that's very minor and it it still works excellent. So I would highly encourage you to go check out Optic Old School over on Instagram. Um, I will leave some links in the description below in regards to where you can actually get this thing. And if you want to see my whole film scanning workflow, you're gonna wanna check out this video right here. <music>